there is no one low responder protocol that stands out as superior to any other. And there's a, a great truth about the use of fertility medication from one practice to the next. And that is, is that in any given practice, the protocol that that practice picks first is going to be the one that's going to have the best results. Because the patients who are capable of getting pregnant quickly will do so on the first choice protocol for that practice. And whatever, pra whatever the practice uses as their second or third choice protocol, that, those protocols are going to be applied to patients who were not as lucky and therefore are somewhat more resistant to fertility treatment. And so in any given practice, you may hear a doctor say, well, this protocol is the best and I don't like those protocols. Where in another practice, you may hear exactly the opposite. And the reason for that is just that they have more experience with whatever they're typically picking first and because they're higher prognosis patients are gonna get pregnant faster on their first choice protocol, doctors tend to like the protocols that at least to them appear to be working better. But if you really look critically at what's published on the use of fertility medication for in vitro fertilization, there is really no one protocol that stands out as clearly superior to any other. When you sit down with your physician to talk to them, about what protocol you're gonna be on, the right questions to ask are, will this be adequate stimulation for my ovarian reserve? Will this put me at risk for hyperstimulation in a, a, above and beyond what is generally acceptable? Uh, will this protocol have any negative effect on my eggs that you can imagine? And uh, what happens if I don't stimulate well enough on this protocol, what would we do next? A patient who asks that, those questions is engaged in the conversation and is basically getting their physician to think through the physiology of their individual case so that the protocol choice that that physician makes will be tailored specifically to that patient. The goal of any first choice protocol is to get a good retrieval safely, get a high fertilization rate, get plenty of embryos to work with, and then obviously to get a pregnancy. But it doesn't always work out that way. Um, and as a result, a lot of people start on protocol number one and they move to protocol number two. Again, the important thing is to remember the basic theories behind each and understand why the choices may or may not be applicable to your own clinical situation.